Here we go with video one for chapter three. So in this section, we're going to identify terms and like terms, and we'll go over some different vocab words in this section, and we'll be able to simplify algebraic expressions. So let's start with some vocab. Make sure you have your name on your packet so that if you drop it somewhere, we can give it back to you. Algebraic expressions. So that is just numbers, letters, Symbols, really putting those all together into an expression. So something like 2x plus 4b minus 7 would be an algebraic expression. Numbers, letters, and symbols. So including the different operations. Terms, each piece or each part of an expression. So for example, I have three terms here. I have 2x. 4b, and negative 7. So I have three terms in my algebraic expression in this example. So the terms are separated by the plus or minus signs. So if I wanted to look at the different terms here, I said they were 2x, and I'm just going to switch colors so you can see them, 4b, and negative 7. Okay, so if I look at where the plus and minus signs are, that separates my different terms. And I want to make sure I include this negative with which, with whatever comes after it or behind it. So that's a negative 7. That's a positive 4b. Okay. Like terms. Like terms have the same variable to the same power or the same exponent. So examples of like terms would be 2x and 5x. Those are like terms because they both have x's to the single, you know, a power of 1. Or I could say 3v squared and negative 2v squared would be like terms because they both have a v squared. So we'll be doing a lot of combining like terms, finding those like terms that go together. Coefficient is just a number in front of or multiplied by. Multiplied by a variable. So for example, if I have 5y, 5 is the coefficient. And that means I'm doing 5 times y. So whatever number is in front of a variable, which is being multiplied by that variable, that's a coefficient. Okay. Constant is just a plain number with no variable. Plain number, no variable, a constant, 8, negative 14. Those are constants. Plain numbers, no letters. Okay? And then to combine like terms, you're going to see this as directions a lot. Combine the like terms. Find and put all the like terms together. And we'll do lots of examples of those. Okay? And again, some directions might say simplify or write it in simplest form. That means you've gotten rid of all the parentheses and there's no more like terms to combine. So no parentheses or like terms that are left. This will all make more sense as we go through some examples, but I wanted you to have kind of a, a list of your vocab that we're going to be using all in one spot. Okay, so let's look at some examples of terms, like terms, constants, and coefficients. So I have an expression here, 2r squared plus 7r minus r squared minus 9. Well, if I look to separate it where the plus and minus signs are, I can see I have four terms. My terms are 2r squared, 7r, negative r squared, and negative 9. Okay, and the like terms, so the same variable to the same power would be these, the r squareds. So I have 2r squared and negative r squared. That's the only like terms I have in here. The 7r doesn't have anything that goes with it, no like term, and the constant, the plain number, doesn't have anything with it, no like term. Okay, constants, plain number by itself, just the negative 9 is a constant. Coefficient. 
So if we look at our definition, coefficient is the number in front of or multiplied by the variable. So the coefficients here are, I have a number here that's multiplied by the r squared, so a 2. I have a number here that's multiplied by the r, so 7. And I actually have a number here. There's an invisible number right there, and I don't usually write it, but this is a negative 1. So I have a coefficient of negative 1 in front of this r squared. No coefficient on the plain number. So I've got three coefficients there. And then if they ask me to simplify it, remember we said our definition of simplify is no parentheses. Okay, that's not an issue here. We don't have any parentheses. And no like terms left to combine. So let me find those like terms. The 2r squared minus 1, remember that's an invisible 1r squared. 2 minus 1 just leaves me with 1r squared. And I don't need to write the 1. It's there. 1r squared. And then I still have 7r. And I, oops, and I still have negative 9. So now it's written in simplest form, or it's been simplified, because I don't have any more like terms to combine. Everything I can do is done, and I leave it like that. Okay, so you're going to do number three. Write out the terms, like terms, constants, coefficients, and simplify it. Put any like terms that you have together. So do that, pause right now, and hit play when you're ready to check. All right, if you're ready to check, here's my five terms. Remember, if I split it at the plus and minus signs, I have these five terms that I listed out. Don't forget to include the negative that's part of this term. Like terms, the 4p and the p are like terms with each other. And then the constants, the 7 and the negative 5, are like terms with each other. So this is one pair, and this is one pair. There is no like term that goes with the q. 2q is by itself, nobody to go with that. Constants, my plain numbers by themselves. Coefficients, numbers in front of the variables. So every variable has a coefficient. There's a 4 in front of this p. There's an invisible 1 again. Always an invisible 1 if there's no number there. So 1 is a coefficient. And then there's a 2 in front of the q. And then I actually put my like terms together. So I put these p's together. 4p and 1 more makes 5p. 7 and negative 5 makes 2, and then the q is just by itself. So if you notice, we try to put the constants. Here's my plain number by itself at the end. Plain number, the constant by itself, kind of goes at the back when I simplify it. Okay, when we talk about combining like terms, combining like terms, here's what it would look like. I'm going to use boxes to put around all of my terms. I'm going to find the ones that match. So I'm using smiley faces here. I have one smiley face, three smiley faces, five smiley faces, and negative four smiley faces. So notice I've kind of split up the different terms. I have four terms. I'm also going to add that one here, the invisible one. And now I'm just going to put that together. Count them up. How many smiley faces do you have? Well, I'm going to go left to right, so I have 1 plus 3, that gives me 4, plus 5 more, and that gives me 9, and then minus 4, or negative 4, would leave me with 5 smiley faces. Okay, you can check that, working your way across from left to right. 1 plus 3 plus 5, and then minus 4, or negative 4 makes five, so I have five smiley faces. Well, I could do the same thing and turn those smiley faces into a variable. And instead of counting up smiley faces, now I'm counting up a's. One a, three a's, five a's, and then negative four a's. And if I do it the same way, I end up with five a's. So whether you're counting actual objects or things, or you're counting the variables and just figuring out how many you have, that's what we do when we combine like terms. So let's look at another example over here. My terms are 4n 
negative 6n, negative 10n, and then 2n. You can use different strategies here. I like to just work left to right and combine those like terms as I go. So 4 and negative 6 make negative 2n minus 10 more n. Well, negative 2 and negative 10 make negative 12n. And then I keep working my way across. Plus 2n, negative 12 plus 2 is negative 10. So just think of the variable as things that you're counting up, and you just want to know how many do you have? How many do you end up with? Or how many total? Okay, so let's do one more. Now I'm actually going to color code. So if you want to color code with me, you're welcome to, or just follow along. So now I see that I have smiley faces, so I'm going to do those in orange. There's all my smiley faces. And I have stars. I have six stars and negative one, if I fill in that invisible negative one star. And now I'm gonna put the smiley faces together. So negative two and five, or sorry, negative two and seven make five, five smiley faces. And six, minus one, or six and negative one, make five stars. So if I were to combine the like terms here, I end up with five smiley faces and five stars. Cool, got it. Well now let's say instead of smiley faces, I have Bs, and instead of stars, I have Ns, and I can do it the exact same way. I can combine negative two B and seven B, and that makes five Bs. And I can combine six N and negative one N, and that gives me five N. So my simplified expression would be five B plus five N. We're just finding the things that are alike and counting them up, seeing how many we have, combining those like terms together. All right, so you try this one. I have five X, plus 2y minus 8y, or 8x plus 5y. Let's color code and then combine those like terms. Okay, so actually color code this one, pause the video, and com uh, come back when you've actually combined those like terms together. So how many x's do you have? How many y's do you have? Okay, you can see I've color coded. It doesn't matter if you circle, if you box, if you highlight, but we should be finding the X's that go together. And now I'm actually gonna do five and negative eight make negative three X's when I put those together. Five plus negative eight is negative three. And then two plus five makes seven Y's. If it's positive, put a plus sign there. Okay, so this was just your basic introduction to combining like terms. We went over some vocab, we went over kind of the beginning of what this is gonna look like, and this is the end of video one.